Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome here at the Tapain campus in Maastricht and at your computer screens. Welcome to this special ceremony to open the new academic year, also on behalf of my colleagues, Rianne Letchert, Director Magnificus, and Nick Voss, Vice President of the University. Today's ceremony is carried out in a way that nobody of us imagined a year ago. It uh, really doesn't follow the traditional format as we have seen. There is no procession of professors. There is no lecture in the Great Hall of the Theater. Most of you will follow us online, and we are just here at the Tapain Kaserne with a small group under strict corona-related social distancing rules. But the location that we choose is a special one. The Tapain Kaserne campus, our newest edition, is a special one. It's located in the middle of our city, in the Masi City Park. And at the end of our ceremony today, we will also have a special surprise for you to show why this is a very important space to connect the university to the city and its citizens. When we chose the motto of this event after the storm, we were a bit too optimistic as the pandemic is, of course, as we all know, still raging on. Due to the exceptional efforts of our university community, we were able not only to complete last academic year successfully, but also to plan the new year under the motto, on campus if it can, online if it must. I want to thank everybody at our university who made this possible our academic staff, but also especially the unsung heroes of the managerial and support staff who worked extremely hard in the last few weeks over the summer, for example, to get all buildings corona-proof, to implement health protocols, and to improve our digital platforms. While we're all still suffering from the fallout of the pandemic, which will stay with us for a while to come, I believe that it is very important to look ahead so we can deal with the crisis and not the other way around. As Maastricht University, we have taken a number of steps to address this challenge. First, offer an attractive student experience under the new circumstances with a mix of online education and on-campus events respecting the rules of hygiene and asking everybody to take responsibility for the health of the members of our community. Secondly, continuously improving our digital offer and quality by creating a virtual campus environment, focusing on educational innovation, but also with the goal to create a safe and adaptable environment for our teachers when they need it. Third, relieving some of the immense COVID-related work pressure of our staff and help those with temporary contracts by investing more than 7 million euros together with our faculties from the reserves to support the primary process, education and research. Four, offering improved support to our researchers under the changed COVID related conditions to acquire and maintain good funding. Five, continue our engagement for our immediate surroundings, the city, the region, and the province of Limburg. For example, on the Brightlands campuses, but also in collaboration with the Maastricht University Medical Center, and with knowledge institution on both sides of the border. Six, continue to position ourselves as an international university and the bridge of the Netherlands to and from Europe by working together with our network partners, for example, in the UFA Alliance, creating new models for international collaboration and mobility in a digital context, but also strengthening internationalization at home. Seven, we need to continue our engagement for important societal challenges, such as addressing climate change, energy transition, 
and the sustainable development goals in general. Eight, last not least, as we hear the voices from within our community, we stand by you in saying that there is no place for racism on an individual or institutional level at this university. We will continue our efforts to uncover unequal opportunities, to broaden our curriculum, and to create a safe and inclusive environment for students and staff alike. Now you will say, this is quite a package you're proposing here. But we are optimistic that we can reach the, these goals when we work together. And coming back to the image of a storm, realize that we're all in one boat. Fortunately, we have shown that we address problems from many different angles here at Maastricht University. We embrace diversity and intercultural exchange. It stimulates our creativity and out-of-the-box thinking. As executive board, we are committed to support this process as best as we can in these challenging times. But as I said, we can only achieve this together as a community and with our partners close by and far away. I would like to end with a quote attributed to Abraham Lincoln to underline our approach. The best way to predict the future is to create it. So once again, thank you for joining us today during this special hybrid event. Let us remember we can only weather the storm together. This brings me to the introduction of our keynote speaker for today. I'm very happy that he agreed to join us live from the United States, from Boston, Massachusetts, to share some of his, his inspiring views on education and the future of universities with us. During his talk, you can send him your question via this email address, and he will answer them during the QA, at least some of them, because we also have organized a webinar with him much longer in one week where we can follow up. But first, let's watch a video that will tell us more about our special guest, Professor Eric Mazur from Harvard University. <laughs> 